the cup final then the pinnacle of three days of sensational rugby Fiji lead the series 37 to 30 England have stopped and changed their pack around throughout today but against Fiji Theo Tuai you cannot discount them the best man that Ben Ryan has ever coached he said that after the semi-final beat England in a Dubai final met twice before and you have to go all the way back to 2005 10 years ago when they last met in Dubai's showpiece quick word then from Carl Tanana I just can't wait for this one, Donny. It's all set up for a cracking final as we get set for the national anthems. But conflict and game plan. Fiji will want to start fast and furious. England, they want to be physical and precise. But geez, you can just get the feeling this one is going to be off the hook. You do, don't you? Crowd of all packed in here. It's the fullest it's been all weekend and they will all stand now twice a few smiles it may just relax England against Ben Ryan's Fiji Fiji have contested six Dubai finals before this one only once two years ago in 2013 captained by Colony Sal have they lifted the title England have won four titles in Dubai two of those against Fiji Richard Kelly from New Zealand
Gareth Coulter, we remember you now, as we will always. At the Dubai final, the first leg of the HSBC World Rugby Seven Series. The instructions are done, the talking is done, the singing is done. Let the action and the play do the talking. Injury concerns for both teams coming into this game. Those will have to, have to be put to the back of the minds. As England's captain, it's a fascinating battle, isn't it, between the two captains. Tom Mitchell. Right, so Colin Isal, but it's Tom Mitchell in England who get the Dubai final underway. And the first mistake is made by England. Well, it's gone the 10, Johnny, so they get away with it just. They didn't touch it. Mitchell wanted it to go up higher so Robble could compete. Phil Burgess, the hero of the semi final for England. 19 5, wasn't it, against New Zealand? The two. Sevens Giants, Fiji and New Zealand. It's that knock on from England. Ten minutes each way. Well, I tell you what, Johnny, this English captain already he doesn't look happy. Tommy Mitchell, he come out of that last contact area limping. And this will be a huge blow. Hopefully, he's okay and good to go. His head, his injury concerns, come back from a broken leg only last season. Let's hope he's okay for England's chances. They have been monitoring him all tournament. That left ankle. Can't take any risk. He would not want to go off here. England's last cup title, of course, in Tokyo last season. Fiji, of course, four cup wins last season on the way to winning the series title. He's all right, Tom Mitchell. Relief for Simon Amor. Electric atmosphere here, it really is. Hair standing up on the back of the necks. Huge expat community here for England, it will feel. Not quite tricking them, but something near it. Fiji in the white. We don't have too much play yet, have we? Already a minute and a half gone. But it's Fiji with this early possession. Two up. Two I get lovely offload. And they bring it down the right hand side. Ruata. Penalty to Fiji. Mulua. Can't get the offload away that time. And how often do we say that about the great man? Bibby. Now there's space there, and Bowen is running after this one. Oh, he gets it off the knee. Just needs composure now. Bowen's the man again. England strike first in the Dubai final. I think this is important too for the English cause, not only for their self-confidence, but also the questions asked for the Fijians. You see here, this doesn't happen, as you said, Johnny, but great defence, Rob Bull and Alex Gray over the top, stopping that offload. They shift it quickly. And what recognition here by Dan Bibby. I think he has been close to England's best all weekend long, realises there's no sweeper, and this kid also has come off the bench, starts this one. He has made an impact. Tommy Bowen looks at the crowd. Bibby gets the conversion as well. Something that Simon Amor said is that decision making. It was crucial against Australia last night. It was crucial against the USA. And this young England side, a huge amount of sevens experience between them in the World Series. Good decision making. Great decision from Bibby there. 
Fiji played in the first game yesterday. Now in the 45th, and they are still here. England played in the last game yesterday, and they are still here too. That's Fiji. Kick ahead, Roatha. Mitchell has scored just outside his 22. Fiji have turned it over. Colin is on this right-hand side, calling for it. Wally Vogel. Not happy with that decision from the referee. Well, Jerry, 2 1 here. Tries to take a quick, probably the wrong decision there. Didn't need that whatsoever. Sort of defense was on its way back. Jerry, 2 1. But look at the numbers over the ball. The captain, Tom Mitchell, getting in there. And also the number seven again, Dan Bibby. I think that combination of playmakers is starting to come of age for England. Missed him so much now during the Simon Amor. Earlier this week, huge amount of confidence that Tom Mitchell has brought into the side, coming back into it. Many comparisons made between him and Simon Amor. Simon Amor, of course, took over from Ben Ryan, who was the England Sevens coach. <whistles> Reigning champions, Fiji. Imperious yesterday, weren't they? 63-14 against Canada. Followed up with a narrow victory over Japan. Then nailed Argentina. Beat Argentina in the quarter final. Bibby! Oh, he's dummied everyone. Now they have to recover though. Watkins has been strong. Bibby, it's like there's seven Bibbies out there at the moment. Burgess. They're not allowing Fiji possession in this opening six minutes. They've had some penalties. It's a few now, isn't it, for Fiji? He goes through the hands. Colin Isau. They won't go all the way through. Rawatha. 4th try this weekend. Two out to one against New Zealand in the semi. Well, another try from a turnover. But Ruatha is just so aggressive with ball in hand. Look at the look on his face. He was never going to be denied the number 11 from Fiji. Look at him bust through one, powers through over the line in a second. been all action isn't it so far and there is nothing between the sides seven apiece well, this first seven minutes Johnny's just flown by I think it just speaks to the quality of this game so far look at that position three times as much for Fiji they've had a lot of the ball but England have defended stoutly England's turn to set themselves for a restart. Not well underneath it, do I? Fabulous from Fiji. Oh, it's inside. Strike hard. They strike twice in quick succession. Well, it came from the kickoff. They've been so dominant all weekend long. The ability to get position back after your score. Look at Rovovo go to work there. Nice offload to Vera Malua. And FEG takes flight. The big number two strides out. No, knowing that no one's in there from defence. And look at that. From the restart, remember people mentioned it earlier day one. The restart so important. He targeted Rodwell, England's biggest player, Fiji. 
the tactic of just going straight down the middle, Johnny, and taking a running start has worked a treat for Fiji all tournament long. Do they go to that again? The gap between Rodwell and Gray. Same tactic this time. Rodwell does take it. There's advantage to Fiji now, full penalty. Started slowly, Fiji. They've come to the boil very quickly, haven't they? Spinning through now. It's any bound. Aseki. Kitani Bao. The Iceman. Well, they're just on a roll at the moment, aren't they? There's nothing doing on their left-hand side of the field. He chops in, spins away, and you have to make your tackles. Arms aren't going to get it done. You've got to get shoulders on. That's what England did initially in the first five minutes of this half. They don't on this occasion. They go through Robbo and the big men of England. Three tries on the trot for Fiji. 21 points in a row. Volley of tries from Fiji. And they're stringing those passes together, stringing those offloads together. And they have a decent lead now, don't they? And they won the restart again. England look phased now, don't they? Rub it in the headlights time. But Fiji want more before half time. Mata. And down this near side. Bonivolo, England just falling off tackles. Jerry Tuai. Smashed against the post. But he has the presence of mind to dot the ball down. Fiji are blowing England away here. This is all natural ability from the number eight for Fiji. He steps inside the English captain, Tom Mitchell. Valiant defence here by Richard de, de Carpentier. He tries everything to stop him. Jerry Tuai takes one for the team, sits up, puts it down. Four tries to one. And to think he was a doubt coming into today, you question over some food poisoning. Ratubu gets a conversion as well. Was 7 0 to England, 28 unanswered points. Half time, Fiji 28, England 7. Started slowly, didn't they, Fiji? But they have blasted England away in the last seven minutes of that half in this Dubai final. Let's have a listen in. Well, Johnny, I tell you, that's a mark of a good coach. Ben Ryan didn't have to say anything whatsoever. He let the players do all the talking. They know what they need to do. He's headset enough. It's time to go to work for England. Simon Amor just highlighting to stay together, stay connected. It's two individual in defence at the moment. It's theirs to lose, isn't it? Five visits of 22 for Fiji. They've come away with four tries. England have got to fight, haven't they? This young squad will learn a lot about them in this next 10 minutes of seven rugby. We know all about Fiji, the natural ability, the structure and fitness that Ben Ryan has brought to the programme. Defending series champions. Want to start this season with a win here in Dubai. Well, it's all about the kickoff, isn't it? Fiji dominating that second 
five minutes of the first half. England just need to take a kick off, need to get their bridge are there a lot quicker at the moment. They're one step too far, and Fiji are just dominating the breakdown. The breakdown, I mean, the dominating the restarts, dominating the scoreboard of Fiji. And they've got the ball back again. Robwell flapping around. Back with Fiji. The two who puts the ball through the hands quickly. Mata. Flicks it off the ground back to Ratuu. Now the chips in there, Bowen will cover this. Well, the tackle is allowed to contest that Dan Norton on a half time. Both their flyers on now for England, Norton and Bowen. In England, they have to panic here still a lot of time. So go to the set piece, go to your strength, get some possession, and just set up your plays. You've got to have confidence in what you come in to this final to do. Seventh final in Dubai for Fiji. Only the one win. The 56th final on the series. England's second ever highest point scorer. Dan Norton is on the field. England when it's their 33rd cup final. They won 17. Four of them here in Dubai. They like it in the desert. Not liking it right now, are they? Bibby. Mitchell. Side Fiji. Bibby. This fifth thing. Do England need to do, Carl, to get back into this game? You say there's plenty of time. What exactly do they need? to do. They need to get their big men involved in the game. An offence, Johnny, for mine. I think this is a great opportunity. Tom Mitchell needs to create it. He needs to go to his most lethal call here. They're quite creative in their tap kicks are England. Offside. Yep, Clock starts again. De Carpentier, one of those big men you're talking about for England. It's been good here in Dubai. Mitchell. Bibby, the two playmakers for England now. Burgess on one of those short lines. And a semi-final. Fiji trying to hold him up here. More attention from England. Mitchell. Norton. Norton stepping. Release! Right hand to Ratuvu. Gray is there for England, though. Trying to fend in the step as well. Mitchell's in there, the playmaker. Yeah, where you are. He's not where England want him. Your body weight. They've got another penalty here, and Mitchell takes it quickly. Surely it's there again. It's a brace for Bowen, and England clawing their way back into it. And it was the big unit still, Phil Burgess initially with a strong run. Alex Gray also involved heavily. Tom Mitchell getting the job done, realising where the space was because Bowen come off his line, worked hard, and creates the overlap on the outside. It's out wide, isn't it, for Bibby, though? Come on. Madison Hughes would have fancied it. Down Bibby this time. But you felt England had to score the next point. That flurry of tries from Fiji at the back end with that first half. <laughs> Talinga comes on for Fiji. Rolling subs now, five substitutes allowed. Doesn't matter how many times you bring on the same player, as long as you only make five substitutions. Eric, experimental law is Fiji. Knock on from the restart, and now the, this game is swag, isn't it? England not dealing with the restarts to begin with, and now it's Fiji oh, no. struggling. Yep. Deep there doing some great work, challenging for their kickoff. It was nice and high by Cameron Cole. They're grinding their way back, are this English side, as you'd expect. Now, what do they do? 
You've got your Spisa and Dan Norton in the centre. Tommy Bowen already shown what he can do. Come on. I would like to see them give it to Bowen early and just let him have a nudge. Let him go. Ruatha up against him. Fine. And here's ninth series. Thanks. Tricked out to Bivit. Norton. Bow and he steps. Oh, and he's gone. He's having that nudge, Carl. Isn't he having a nudge? Then he was just slightly indecisive. Done the hard work. Oh, he just thought he was going to stop and look for support on the inside, but out and out gas from Bowen. Look at him here, stop and go on the outside. You don't see that very often. You see here, he comes to the sweeper. Gets caught in a 50-50 mindset, but, geez, I think if he goes on the inside, he'd be tough to stop. Well, Ivolo, great covering tackle from him. Sorry. Yeah. That's what's at stake. On the mark, please, and step off the mark. Defensive line out for Fiji. 28 points to 12. Still five minutes left in the second half of this cup final in Dubai. Rotubu puts boot to ball, says England. You can go from there. We'll back our defence. Cal. His debut event. One of the players of Simon A was being impressive. Bowen again. Just mix up with Gray. Hands it back to Fiji. Not too much of the ball in hand. All right. Has to clear out. And now Fiji turn it over. The ball is there for England. Norton. Will he fancy a go? It's the feet to begin with. Burgess and De Carpentier. Two of England's forwards. He's trying to rip that ball away. Burgess flicks it inside to Bibby. <laughs> Giving everything these players. What an incredible piece of defensive work that is. Oh, inch. It's a game of inches, isn't it? I thought he was in for all money. Bibby, if he keeps his feet, but look at that. Domo Lilai. Just a big hand. Matter. There as well to push Bibby, Bibby out into touch. I thought there was a knock on earlier. In the piece, actually. Well, this crowd really is quiet at the moment. They know how finely balanced this game is. But England are in the right end of the field. This is a very, very important throw for both sides. England don't contest. for the moment for Fiji. Jerry Tuai gets the ball out. Linger. Fiji happy to get ball in hand, aren't they? They're the ones in front on the scoreboard. Handsome lead as well. Tomo Lilai. It's high from England. Penalty Fiji. Yeah, just gets caught a bit high in the tackle. I'm sure they'll probably go to the set piece, will they? Fiji. Much need a rest for them, that's what they want. There he is here, left foot step. Chops inside and just cops one round the chin there. Phil Burgess is going a tad high, shall we say. Matter down as well. 
Kuleomi Mata. Fijian player down on the far side as well. The clock has stopped. At this stage in the competition. Back into the second day there. Very tired bodies out there. Injured players playing with players playing with slight niggles. And they're calling for a substitute on the far side. Can't see who it is down at the moment. Well, interesting stat there. Three balls kicked away for Fiji. You don't see that very often. I think that's a reflection of the great defense that England have posed. Can Fiji deep in their own quarter for long periods? Hence why Fiji have had to release the pressure with those long kicks. to come on there he is wearing the 10 shirt sad to see her playing off in the final there's no room for sentiment here there's a cup final to win just wonder with that kicking game that Fiji have brought in blasted England away in that first half still 16 points ahead so they need to play any dangerous rugby they have been camped down in their half majority of the last two three minutes it's just smart football, isn't it? It's turning the English team around and going forwards a lot easier than going backwards. They're going to go to the sideline, take it to the set piece here, Fiji, which you don't see very often either. Revolvo goes into Chatstown to England's 22. Two minutes 30 left in this final in Dubai. Defending champions. <laughs> Not happy to relinquish their title. Simon Amor looks on pensive as ever. Delighted to get through to that semi final over the US of A. Dramatic scenes. Possibly a game too far. Too much sevens quality. Sevens now in this Fiji side. As you said, Johnny, it was just that little explosion of points here. Really put England on the heels and they just haven't been able to get back into this one. And here come Fiji again. <laughs> Not made the tackle. So the experience there. Great. Great spinning. You have to go to the floor. Bovo came through England penalty again. England have to strike now. Any chance of winning this one? No. Great. Hard line from the big former England under 20s captain Bibby again. Burgess on the wraparound with the Carpentier. Up into that 22 again. Ophelia has spent a lot of time in the second half there. Cow. Cameron Cow. Cow is going to get through, is he? Fix it inside. Burgess can't hang around here. Well, they need to go quick here. They need a, two more scores to get anywhere near Fiji. They're going to take it quickly. But a nice wrap around by England just to create the overlap. He did well here, didn't he? Cameron Cow, Kraut, Cow, taking it in aggressively. Gets on the outside and gives inside pass. He's been good since he's come on. Twenty-eight, seventeen, free kick to Fiji. Thomas how it started. Ben Ryan realizes they are there. Fiji will boot the ball out of touch, and the winners of Dubai are Fiji, the reigning champions. And at times in this final, 
There really was only one team in it. They blew England away in that first half. Yeah, that really did tell the story, didn't it? England now were brave in their efforts. Just a little period for three or four minutes from Fiji. As you said, Johnny, England couldn't stick with them, and it was the kickoffs, the retention of possession from this Fiji team. And who could deny them this one? They've been the best team over the weekend. They've been the most consistent side here. And they've played at a level that no one's been able to touch. Yes, they've been tested, but they've had the goods and the mentality to get the job done. Only the second Dubai title. Kalili Sao, only Fijian captain to lift this Dubai title. Last time was two years ago in 2013. They've beaten England in a cup final here in Dubai for the first time ever. England, when the dust settles, may well feel delighted to have got to this final. Made some good decisions along the way, an experienced side, really, compared to many of the Fijian players. Hang on, let's go do this. Osea, congratulations, you are the Dubai Sevens Champions for 2015. Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank the Lord, because uh, when we came to the tournament, this morning we said uh, each other, Isaiah 43, 19, we said that God is going to do a brand new thing, and he did in our lives today. So the way we play today and the credit goes to God for giving us the faith and the belief in uh, ourselves. And uh, we couldn't have done it without the help of uh, Abu Dhabi Hale Queens. They brought us here a few days earlier, which helped with the uh, jet legs. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Jeremy Mannering too. He helps with our uh, kicking without those people. I think uh, those people chip in that help in the success of the team. And uh, I thank the boys for playing their hearts out. And England is a very good side. They gave us a uh, fright in the final when they started off uh, really well. But uh, we're just uh, thankful that we came through as uh, winners. We know you love playing in Hong Kong, Osea, but this is your third Dubai Seven title. You're sorry, your second Dubai Seven title in three years. So this is becoming a, a pretty friendly place for you as well. Yeah, uh, it's always lovely to come to Dubai because of the sights and because uh, of the weather. It's the uh, same as uh, back home. It, uh, the weather doesn't disappoint here in uh, Dubai, so it's becoming uh, one of the favorite places for us to play. And we're starting to pick up uh, consistent in the tournament here in Dubai. You've started the series with an event win. Can you defend your World Series overall title this year? That is the overall uh, plan before the Olympics to try and uh, defend the series. And we said that Dubai is really important because it's a start of a new series and we want to get ourselves off to a new start and get us rolling into the next tournament. Well, congratulations, also. Go and join your teammates. Thank you very much. Winning captain. In a 28 cup win as we look at the match facts from the final. The 56th final for Fiji. And winning becomes a habit, Carl. And they're beginning to get that habit. And they're beginning to like that habit. Oh, they're loving it at the moment. There, Johnny. I'm down here with Jerry Tuai and Giles Morgan from HSBC. He is the HSBC man of the final. Jerry, you've had a fantastic tournament. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the Lord for the wonderful win, for the strength that enabled us to win the tournament today. Uh, it has been a wonderful tournament and it's a teamwork. Uh, yeah, it's a teamwork for us. Well, congratulations, Jerry, and good luck in Cape Town next week. Thank you, thank you. England have got to this final valuable points, of course, when they get to Rio, the points they accumulate we on the series will counter the ceilings when it comes to the Olympics. Tom Mitchell, good to see him back leading the side and plenty of things, plenty of positives to take into Cape Town. Oh, most definitely. I think they're a team that really flew under the radar somewhat until they turned up on day two and they showed how good they were. Yes, they missed out just in the end. 
but some warning signs that they're going to be pretty good very soon. Well, let's get some reaction now. Simon Amor. Simon, hard luck in the final. Uh, you threw everything at them. Did you run out of steam a bit here? Oh, yeah. We were running on empty a fair bit, but incredibly proud of the effort the guys put in play. I mean, Fiji is such a dangerous team. They get that kick off right, and they, kick, they retain possession. You're eventually just running out of guys that can make the tackle. So full credit to them, full credit to Ben, I think. Simon, you've blooded a few youngsters at this tournament, so that's positive as well going forward. Yeah, hugely encouraging to make a final with a couple of debutants to be struggling a bit with a few fitness concerns. Delighted. Thanks, Simon. Bad luck and good luck next week. Cheers. It all started with that incredible 63-14 win over Canada. It's finished with a 28-12 win over England. They blew England away. 28 unanswered points in the second half of that first half before England scored their true tries in that second half. 28 17 the final score. Hard to come back to men who possess such natural sevens ability. Only their second Dubai title. Fiji Cup winners in Dubai 2050. Kalini Sao, the only Fijian to lift this famous title. And don't the crowd love it? They've been treated to some quite superb sevens over this weekend, none more so than for the team in white. Well, their first game right from the outset on day one against Canada, they really did set the level. They were outstanding. And from there, they just grew and grew. They got tested by Japan on day one. They were good enough to get the job done there. Day two is where they really stood up. They were tested again by multiple teams, but they just showed their class. I think it from kickoffs right down to the breakdown. They really are the masters at that area in the game of sevens. So the rest of the team, teams on the circuit need to get with them. If they're going to have any chance of beating the Flying Fijians on the circuit this year. So the series title after this first leg of 10, of course. Bigger and better than ever. The HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. Fiji out from 22, England 19. USA, of course, were third. Canada won the shield, didn't they? France the ball. South Africa lifted the plate. Said Australia third, New Zealand four. We mustn't forget, of course, the Australian women who won the sevens title in the women's event here yesterday. Three days of brilliant rugby and big smiles on the face of Ben Wright. He continues to do really special things with his Fiji team. They're yeah, becoming the team to beat. And in United Arab Emirates, it is Fiji who are the Dubai champions. Some tired legs out there, but they will forget that as they celebrate tonight before heading down to South Africa. And they were the best team in that final. If there's any doubt of that. Fireworks now, there's been fireworks on the field all weekend. A wonderful weekend of rugby, culminating in a brilliant, scintillating final. And the best team in Dubai have won the title in Dubai. Some quite wonderful scenes all around this Dubai event. What a way to start this, the first leg of 10 before we end up in London, before Rugby Sevens makes its debut in the Olympic Games of Rio 2016. We're the champions, the defending series champions, start the first leg with a big, fat W. From us all here, the whole of the commentary team, it's goodbye from Dubai in event one. Fiji are the champions. Cape Town is the next stop.